In this video, guys, I'm going to share with you a survival build in Dead Cells you can use to destroy the game on all difficulties. And if that sounds interesting, let's get into it. So when the update version 20 went live, they tweaked the explosive crossbow and boy, that thing racks the whole game now. So yeah, that is the weapon for this build, the explosive crossbow. And for the two skills, you want to use the powerful grenades to one-shot enemies very quickly and the ice armor for saving you getting hit, freezing enemies, and it comes with damage reduction, so it is a very useful skill. If you don't have these items, the explosive crossbow is found in the promenade of the condemned where you need to use the three Gartner keys to get it. The powerful grenade is dropped by the bombardier and the ice armor is dropped by the ground shaker. So you want to be using custom mode for this build and select the items from there. You also can select the melee weapons what don't scale with survival so you can still get the trophies and achievements if you want them. Because in the run, you are going to only switch out your items from shops and flawless doors. Because they are always higher rank than any other way of finding items. And with the new shop categories, you can get your build items by simply selecting the survival one. And you will always get your items from your build. So when you start the game and if you play on higher boss cells, you will get an amulet at the start of the game. And you want this one to have at least one survival stat on it or you can... Keep restarting the game to give it two, but this is going to take a while because RNG is a pain. So yeah, you got that. So if you got it, move on to your starting tubes. Okay, guys, just listen here. To get the starting tubes, you need to beat the Hand of the King on one boss cell and he will drop the blueprints before you start commenting a zillion times how to get it. So that is how you get it. So moving on from the starting tubes, you can already get your build from the start. And you want to pick the one that might have a star with it. They mostly have a good effects on it. And that is all the better to start the game with. In the prison quarters, there are two power scrolls. And you want to put them both in survival. Because you are able to one-shot enemies then. With just a single shot from the crossbow. Making the game so much easier. If you can though, you always want to get the flawless kill doors during your runs. And maybe the time doors if you can in the transition levels. Because they always can give you a really high level skill guaranteed from your build, making them more effective. For the mutation, you want to get Gastromony. Yes, I said that right, because if you do find health items, they can heal you up for quite a lot. And if they are infected, you can recycle them. And with this mutation, you will get a huge damage buff the higher your survival is. What lasts for 5 minutes, plus it can stack and it will take over to other biomes, so it is really good. So the next level of this run, I like to go to the Dilapidated Arboretum because I like that level more because the other ones are pretty annoying to deal with on higher difficulties. But if you don't want to go there, take the Promenade of the Condemned. Levels have the same amount of power scrolls, plus if you play on higher difficulties, three boss cells or higher, also pick up those scroll fragments. Now in this level, you want to find the weapon shops and switch out your weapons if you haven't found any better weapons. And you probably haven't or you got the ones from the Flawless Doors or time door so buy them and they will do more damage the higher level they are and with each further biome the weapons will again be more higher level at shops further pick up all the scrolls and fragments and put everything in survival and all dual scrolls with no survival stat should be put into the one that gives the most health bonus so the next level is going to be the prison depths because it has a cursed chest and also in the transition level pick up the mutation instinct of the master of arms because this one will make your skills come up much faster because you probably will always crit when you use the crossbow, so it is really useful for this build. In the prison depths, get the scroll from the cursed chest and try not to die, obviously. And the next level is going to be Morass of the Banish. Also, if you encounter the shops here, don't buy anything, save some money for the next biome. So we go for Morass of the Banish because it has just one more scroll fragment, what will add up in the end, plus a fixed cursed chest, so go there. And the last mutation you want to get necromancy because it's still quite good to get rid of that infection after a boss fight and it still heals you and i don't really see any other mutation being more useful so get that one in the morass of the banish you want to switch out your weapons from the shops because they are probably higher level and deal more damage also in the level there there is a two cell door what holds a food shop so if you are low on health or you use the potion you can make use of it. Be sure to pick up every power scroll and the fragments plus the cursed chest to get your stats much higher. Also, you do want to defeat elite enemies here to get a better amulet that holds more scroll stats, so be sure to get a better one. 
So next up is Mama Tick boss fight. Only tip I got for you guys here is to spam the crossbow into her and learn to dodge her annoying arm spiking up from the ground sequence and you're all good here. Next level is the graveyard. Again, there is a fixed curse chest here, what you want to get. And you don't need to buy items here from the shop. Maybe only a new crossbow to get that little extra damage, but save everything for the shops at the caverns biomes. Yes, that is right. We're going to go to the most hardest biome. So you want to save a good amount of money. I would say 30,000 would be enough to switch out all items from your build. And a tip is to get a lot of money is to just kill all enemies and recycle the items you find during your run. So now in the caverns, you need to get to the shops quickly. The level, what the items have at the shops there are the highest level you can get in the game. So they will deal an extreme amount of extra damage and it is needed to beat that giant fella. You also want to try getting a really good amulet from the elite enemies here. The amulet you can get here has the best stats of the game. So be sure to get a really good one. So if you do get to the giant and have your high level items, the crossbow will deal a lot of damage to him and it makes the fight easier, but still get some practice in how to dodge his attacks and you will be fine. Next level is whatever you want, really hypey castle or the new one where they throw a lot of barrels in your face. They have the same amount of scrolls, so pick one, I guess. And you got the best level items in the game now, so you don't really have to go to the shops anymore in these levels. Now, when you go to the throne room, you face the hand of the king, so you probably know how this fight goes by now because the game is like two years old. And keep in mind that hitting him in its back is more effective because he can block range attacks at the front. Now that you have defeated the hand of the king and play on five boss cells, you can go to the astro lab. Here you can find two extra dual scrolls and a high level shop and also a food shop. And after this level, you face the collector. So the collector would be a bit hard for some because you don't have a shield. So you have to 100% dodge his attack. So it can be challenging. But before the fight, switch out your mutations and replace them by Death Inside, Instinct of the Master Arms and Emergency Triage. They might make the fight more easier. So once you defeated the collector, you beat the game and then pat yourself on the back how much of a crazy person you are because you just did the impossible. Congrats! But anyway, that is how the run goes with the survival build. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I probably will put a run video up to show you how the run goes in full. But anyway, guys, I thank you for watching and I see you all next time. Take care.